Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the BSL Limited Q4 NFI 2023 earnings conference call hosted by Rick Capital. We have with us today from the management, Mr. Nivedan Churival, Managing Director, Mr. Praveen Jain, Director of Operations. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. Before we proceed with this call, I would like to take this opportunity to remind everyone about the disclaimer related to this conference call. Today's discussion may be forward-looking in nature based on management's current beliefs and expectations. It must be viewed in conjunction with the risk that our business faces that could cause our future results, performance, or achievements to differ significantly from what, we, what may be uh, expressed or Im implied by such forward-looking statements. I now, hand a, I now hand the conference over to Mr. Praveen Jain for opening remarks. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Good afternoon, <clears throat> esteemed participants. We are pleased to welcome you to BSL Limited FY23 earning conference call. It is our privilege to host this conference call for the first time, and we sincerely appreciate your valuable time. We are optimistic that our discussion will be fruitful and informative. Clearly, yeah, Mr. Jain, please go ahead. Yeah, oh. your audio is breaking, Mr. Jain. We are not able to, yeah, your audio is breaking. Hello, Raminji, your voice is breaking. Hello, uh, Mr. Jain, we are not able to hear your audio. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it and let him reconnect. Sir, I'll um, disconnect and reconnect the line. Uh, your Pravindji or mine? Mr. Jain, sir. Uh, should, should I continue then on yes, his behalf? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, first, i um, like to give you an outlook of the Indian textile industry. I would like to provide you with your overview of the current outlook of the Indian textile industry. Despite a challenging period of approximately six to eight months marked by rising cotton prices and subdued demand, we have observed an encouraging improvement in demand accompanied by an increase in utilization levels. The Indian textile industry has several opportunities to expand and become more competitive. To succeed in the global market, India must prioritize increasing production capabilities and enhancing capacities while also investing in the training and development of its workforce. The growth trajectory of Indian export hinges on the ability of Indian companies to expand their capacities as those capable of expanding more rapidly are likely to receive larger orders from international customers. <laughs> the ban on Xinjiang cotton has resulted in stringent measures taken by the U.S. custom authorities on cotton imports from the region and other leading customers. This, along with other factors, has made the leading global customer adopt the China plus one strategy in an offer to reduce the dependence on China, and India would certainly be an immediate beneficiary of the same across all textile sectors, especially cotton. Overall, the Indian textile industry Outlook is very positive with growth and demand from both domestic and export markets for Indian textile products in the long run. India is now being seen as a reliable, sustainable and long-term business partner. Now talking about some of our sectors, the domestic market for home decor and shooting witnessed remarkable growth exceeding the pre-pandemic levels owing to the surge in in-demand for premium products. This uptake in demand was primarily driven by factors such as increased footfall, expansion of retail stores, shift towards organized players, and rise in consumer spending. Towards the end of the quarter, the export market also showed signs of improvement as global retailers began to see positive outcomes from inventory optimization, leading to an increase in order flow for suppliers. Uh, now I would like to speak briefly about BSL's different verticals and its marketing strategy. BSL is today one of India's most diversified companies in textile with 
uh, interest in a very varied and diverse range of products such as suiting fabrics, furnishing fabrics, and a variety of yarns. DSL continues to expand its core suiting business across India and the globe. In the export market, it has a presence in over 55 countries and is consolidating its base and trying to expand its footprint in the more profitable markets in order to make its suiting export business more suitable and viable. BSL Limited is taking rapid strides in the domestic suiting segment and extracting more market share from its competitors. It is focused on the growth of both its segments, BSL brands for PV mass segment and Jeffrey Hammond, its premium range where it offers luxury fabric in the form of poly wool and pure wool and ethnic wear in the form of jacquards. Both segments have grown well and shall continue to remain on the growth trajectory. Over the past decade, the furnishing business has been a driving force through its strategic partnership with IKEA, and this segment will continue to grow. As IKEA's premium supplier of furnishing fabrics, BSL has successfully showcased its products across 450 IKEA stores world worldwide, reinforcing its position as a prominent player in the global market. The yarn business at BSL is extremely diverse with existing segments of synthetic worsted and Vortex spinning, and now with the newly launched cotton spinning, the spinning business now accounts for a major chunk of the company's revenue. The spinning business has been instrumental in the company's growth in recent years, and now with cotton spinning, it is expected to grow further. The company has recently commenced commercial operation in its cotton spinning project, where it has installed a capacity of 29,184 spindles, which will give a product production of around 700 tons per month and it is expected to generate additional revenue to the tune of around 250 rupees 250 crores from this financial year. Overall, shooting export contributes around 35% of turnover with 20% coming from domestic and furnishing business and the balance from the yarn business. Going forward, BSL foresees a 40% increase in the yarn business and a 50% increase in the company's overall revenue led by the growth in yarn business and other segments. Uh, Praveen, are you there? Yeah. Okay, now I will request uh, Mr. Praveen Jain to take over the financial performance. Thank you. We are thrilled to announce that your company has made significant strides in FY23 with impressive financial results to show for it. Our revenues have soared to rupees 400 to crore, representing a remarkable YOY growth rate of 8.2%. Our EBITDA has also demonstrated robust performance, surpassing expectations and reaching rupees 53 crores, an increase of 33.8% compared to the previous year. Additionally, we are related to report that our pet for FY23 has displayed remarkable growth, standing at approximately rupees 19 crores, including an exceptional loss of approximately rupees 2 crores, which was a one-time loss. This makes a significant increase of around 66% on a YOY basis, inclusive of the exceptional loss compared to the previous year's pet of approximately rupees 11 crore. Our EPS has also shown positive growth, reaching rupees 16.43, representing a growth of 47.4% on a YUI basis. We take pride in the achievements of our company in FY23 and remain steadfast in our commitment to maintaining this upward trajectory. Furthermore, we are proud to announce that board is approved a dividend of rupees 1.50 per share, which reflects our strong commitment to creating value for our esteemed shareholders. We believe that this decision is a testament to our consistent performance and dedication to driving long-term growth and profitability for our shareholders, stakeholders. We are elated by these remarkable achievements and grateful for the dedication and support of our team and stakeholders that contributed to their success. With that being said, we welcome any questions for discussion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The first question is from the line of pra Pranay Delia from Panchatantra Panch Advisors. Please go ahead. Good afternoon and many congratulations on a good set of numbers. 
you just want to know the debt repayment schedule that the company has planned for the next three to five years. Can you please yeah. take that? Yes. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the repayment obligation for uh, the current year uh, of 23-24 of Vital Gold. And uh, for 24-25, about, about 23 crores. And for 25-26, rupees 25 crores. So with the enhanced cash flow, I hope that the company will prepare debt that will reduce the interest burden on the company. I would just request you to please support this to the board as well. Thank you so much. That certainly yes. is, uh, Mr. Hilly, a part of our uh, part of our consideration. With the enhanced uh, cash flows, we will definitely uh, look to prepay our debts, and we will take the call as and when the situation arises. Thank you. Thank you. Many congratulations and best of luck for the years ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time. The next question is from the line of Shruti Kamath from Value Growth Advisors. Please go ahead. Thank you for the opportunity, sir, and congratulations on the good set of numbers. So my first question would be, uh, with this new CAPEX, what size of opportunity do you able to cater over next two to three years? You mean in terms of turnover? Yes, sir. But what kind of opportunity do we see with this new capex coming in now? Well, I, I had also mentioned. Okay, you complete your questions and then we'll answer them together. Okay. The, my second question would be: uh, By when we will able to reach the break-even uh, of this care, the capex done? And if you can elaborate more on the opportunity of uh, opportunity in your home decor. Uh, uh, segment. Thank you. Sure. So, as I mentioned in my speech, the, we expecting a production of around 650 to 700 tons per month, which is expected to generate uh, additional revenue of around rupees 250 crores annually. This, of course, is based on today's raw material prices. If there are further fluctuations in the prices, the corresponding yarn prices would fluctuate proportionately. So, this takes care of that answer. Now, uh, break even, we are hoping to be profitable from the first year. We've just completed our first month of operations, and the raw, uh, cotton price situation is very volatile. So, it's too early for us to say, but we are very hopeful that we will be profitable from the first year itself. Now, coming to your question related to home furnishing, uh, uh, home furnishing business has been our growth engine for the last decade or so. Uh, primarily, the business uh, is centered around IKEA, which is uh, one of the world's leading, leading retail giants for furniture products. And we at DSL uh, were and probably still are uh, the only supplier of furniture or fabrics to IKEA from South Asia. And as I mentioned, you walk into any of the 450 IKEA stores, you will see our products available there. So far, made from our fabrics, so far, shares and different uh, home products made from our fabrics. And uh, we are very confident that this business will grow from strength to strength. There is a temporary dip at the moment because of the slowdown in uh, Europe, but that's something which can always come up from time to time. We are very confident that this home decor or furnishing business uh, will continue to grow and drive the company's growth as it has been doing for the past decade. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, two more questions. Hmm. So, uh, what is the total debt, uh, net debt position as of today? As of today, uh, as of 31st March, uh, the... Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, long term debt uh, are 159 crores. And okay. uh, the work capital limits uh, for day to day work capital operations is 186 crores. Okay. So, uh, one last question from my side. Uh, uh, how, well, how do you see this cotton price now shaping up from last quarter to this quarter and for the coming year? Thank you. Cotton prices at present are uh, uh, at 62 uh, a thousand level candy, and last month it was hovering around uh, 61,500 to 63. So almost it is, we can say it is stable, uh, not very volatile at age, on, uh, age of now since last two months. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 
Reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. Participants, to ask a question, you may press star and one. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question. On behalf of BSL Limited, that concludes this conference call. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.